welcome back to 20 Minutes or Less. I'm Lee Newton. I'm Elliot Morgan. We all know that drinking red wine has its benefits. Studies have shown that it can lower your cholesterol and it's chocked full of antioxidants that may help prevent heart disease. Well now, in a new study done by Harvard Medical School, you may have heard of them, researchers say that red wine has a chemical in it called resveratrol. And resveratrol stimulates your genes and makes your cells last longer. So in other words, it could keep your skin and muscles looking young. Skin looking young and fresh, you say? Hold still, Beverly. We just found the fountain of youth. You just get yourself a sweet little cup or twelve of an of a frenzy, a complete with resveratrol. Um. Lee, do you even know what resveratrol is? Yeah, Elliot, I know what resveratrol is. It's a powerful antioxidant that's found in the skins of grapes and also grapes. Cranberries, blueberries, peanuts, jackfruit, mulberries, blueberries, lingonberries. It's a polyphenol phytoalexin. And it's said to help with metabolisms and cardiovascular stuff. And it's an anti-inflammatory and it's an anti-cancer properties. And according to this study, it's what gives me my dewy, dewy look. Um, uh, you do look. Nice. Thank you, Elliot. But I don't see why you have to actually drink red wine. If it's already found in all of those other ingredients, why don't you just eat the other ingredients? Like, you can just eat raw grapes. And not to mention the fact that resveratrol comes in a pill form that you can order anywhere. Plain grapes? Heck no, man! I'm killing eight birds with one stone. Did you know that Spain scientists found that people that had Two or more glasses of wine a day had 44% fewer colds, and it's said to increase vein brunction. Well, that can't be true. Don't argue with speculated science, Elliot. Tests and tests are done on red wine, and it's coming up golden. You know, I'm thinking about investing in this little baby before it takes off. Hey, you're a smart kid. How would I go about doing that, huh? Um, I think you have to be filthy rich and probably have a vineyard. Nope. No can do. Uh, Lee, I think you're going about this all wrong. Sure, it has good properties, but I'm pretty sure they said having alcohol in moderation is what helps you. Alcohol-induced problems include things like cirrhosis and heart failure and damage to your nervous system and a crap ton of other things. Oh man, so it's not a liquid Lazarus pig? No. I'm not immortal? No. How's my complexion? It's good. It's nice. It looks Thank really you. good. Look, Lee, again, it's all about moderation. They said with this Harvard study that there was still far more research that needed to be done before they could conclude any positive effects of resveratrol. Elliot, do you want to help me do some research? Uh, no. Thank you. Okay, so question time. Do you let studies like this dictate your eating habits? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. Click the annotation down below or just go to sourcefed.com for every other story we've ever done. I'm Lee Newton. I'm Elliot Morgan. Why so serious?